Hey Virgos, <clears throat> welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you're new, please do smash that like button and do subscribe. <clears throat> and if you are a returning subscriber, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, do click that like button. Wait, click it if you like. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can book your reading with me or Brandy. There is a spooky special discounted reading I'm running for the month of October. So go ahead and book that now before the month is almost over because this month is going so quickly already. All right, you guys. So let's get into your message. Also, you can go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I do daily collective love readings. So you can get a two for one every day. Bonus love reading every day. Okay, you're starting off with passion. Insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. You also have the phoenix, a new phase, rekindling love, renewal, transformation, growth, having a changed mind, and abundance. Beautiful. So someone's changing their mind about something to do with you. Things are definitely shifting this month in regards to your love life. There's a new phase, possibly a rekindling of romance and love happening here okay let's take a look so you've got the hermit that's definitely your card virgo okay somebody's rethinking about um something that has ended doing a little self-reflection okay let's see maybe you have another connection with another virgo um let's see wow didn't we almost have it all that's an old song so they just gave me that the lyrics didn't we almost have it all? The nights of do, 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 do. That is so old, that song. Oh my gosh. I'm hearing somebody is just thinking about like what could have been, what should have been. We were almost there and something ended reflecting on could have been a business opportunity, uh, having so much money in the bank or, you know, like this the end of the line, leaving a legacy, having an inheritance, building, um, you know, when you get to kind of like, when you reach that final stage in life where you've accrued so much, you know, you, you have like, you build your family, you build your business, like rethinking over a whole what could have been i'm just hearing what could have been someone and this could be you this could be another person just kind of like damn somebody is i don't know if they're regretting or just kind of like man we just uh, it could have been so great um it could have been it could have been what could have been what could have been okay something obviously came to an end rock bottom bottomed out and yeah, someone's definitely withdrawn and thinking a lot about the hopes dashed, the plans that we had, the things we were going to do. Uh, let me see. Tell us more. Okay. Wow. Yeah, things were moving swiftly. Something just... Er, someone pulled the brakes or the brakes got pulled on the situation big time, like out of the blue. That's how I feel. Just something, just boom, just ended out of the blue. Okay. I don't know who did this. I don't know who pulled the brakes on something here. It was speeding down the road. It was going so fast. And we were heading in a particular direction. And we had these plans and these goals and these dreams. And we were just building and accumulating. And we were going for it. And then, er, yeah, okay yeah the phoenix was rising here we were heading towards abundance and i feel like the energy is what happened and that's what i'm gonna ask somebody's you know reflecting what happened yep look at that stepping back what the heck what happened why did it go like this what the heck happened and that's what we're asking spirit we know we know somebody's wanting to know what the heck happened all busted up and bruised and and um like a wounded warrior wounded soldier what the heck happened hmm well someone came in somebody came in with a knife somebody came in and yeah definitely king of swords energy gemini aquarius libra 
Hmm. Could have been a third party situation came in and caused a divide. Somebody interfered. Somebody interfered in something here. For sure. There was an interference. Somebody came in with a new idea or a new plan. Something got side railed. For sure. I don't, know if, I don't know who it was. I don't know who this was. But this person either had a change. See, that's what I'm saying. Like a changed mind. There was a changed mind. Or someone put an idea in someone else's head. If something like that occurred. There was a changed mind. It gave someone else... If somebody changed their mind and said, no, success is over here. Success is over here. This is not the way. Success is over here. And and I feel like somebody got tricked. Did somebody get tricked? Hmm. Somebody came in with a solid offer. It's yes. It's yes. Somebody got tricked. I feel like someone was on, was on a really good path. And they were heading in a good direction with another person. And it was going in, it was heading in a good direction. And there was excitement and it was good. And another person came in and said, did the Cyrell, there's a little devil energy. A little, a little temptation came in and said, no, over here, over here. This is better. This is better. I'll give you the sun, the moon, and the stars. It was a trick. And I feel like whoever got tricked is kind of like kicking themselves now. I feel like they're kind of like, rethinking this whole thing because it didn't work out and I feel like they're kind of like damn I lost everything you guys my battery is probably going to die so I'm going to probably have to end the reading and then restart it and fuse it together so you might not even notice that this will happen but yeah somebody definitely got tricked and they're, they're sitting there like kind of rethinking this whole thing like they made a mistake okay so whether this is in love or business or just other daily uh, or life stuff. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. Yep, look at that. Page of Swords and the Tower. Wow, major. Somebody came in with that. They came in with an axe. And it's funny because when I was shuffling those cards, the original ones here, you had, had that axe the other day as far as the charm goes. When I was shuffling these, I saw the axe card and I just put it right back in the deck. And I guess maybe they wanted to say something, but I saw the axe. So yeah, somebody came in with an axe and they chopped that tree down. Came in and they chopped the tree down. So, yeah, is there regret? I don't know if there's regret just yet, but I mean, there, there's definitely this, like, a little bit of this awakening with this tower energy. It's kind of like, oh, sh shoot. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I could have had everything. could have had it all, either with Virgo I got caught up in some kind of whimsical fantasy or I got caught up in, in, in something that was just like my head in the clouds and, uh, you know, I went for these visions of grandeur, these sugar plum ideals and fantasies and I fell for the trick. Yeah, and I lost everything at the end. That's what I feel like the energy is playing out and I feel like this person, hmm, look at that. Look at that. Two of swords in the reverse. Wasn't This person was not trusting their gut at all. They were listening and taking the advice of another person. They were very, in, they were very confused. And that's how that happens. You know, when someone... It's very easy to, to go down the wrong path when you're confused. Because you take advice and then you follow advice from other people. And you're very easily um, swayed when you're in a place of confusion. Um it's always the time to listen to your gut and not other people when you're a place of confusion because then you're just kind of an open target i think in my opinion you have to trust your gut when you're in a place of confusion because it's lot, that's when the devil gets in and gets you oh you're confused so here i have an idea yeah somebody came in and just you know you know got their claws in another person so you know whoever that person was whether it was you or somebody else he got there was a confusion indecision i don't know what to do too much information i don't know it's like info info overload there's too much information i don't know what to do and going forward wow i hope you can forgive me yeah there's a little bit of like i need to have like some kind of a new beginning here so somebody might be seeking forgiveness for abandoning 
could be a king of wands, masculine or feminine, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sorry for all the burden. I'm sorry for walking away and leaving you with everything, leaving you to like clean up this mess. Uh, I'm sorry that I was like, I feel uh, this person is kind of like, sorry for just looking at like following the bling, you know, moth to a flame kind of energy. Um, I'm sorry for like um, not being realistic about things. That page of pentacles is like, Page of Pentacles is all about like ideas, but they're not rooted in anything. They're not grounded. They're theories. They're ideas. You know, I'm sorry for like not being like being appreciative of what I have and and not being grateful for what I already have and what we had and and the evidence that was like the facts before us and not trying to build upon brick by brick what we already had and instead of seeking and going after like chasing waterfalls there's there's a definite energy here of seeking forgiveness for being deceptive yes about illusions being secretive hiding things get uh, somebody was tricked okay they were tricked could have been tricked by an empress which the empress doesn't usually trick you know she's usually someone who shows up in a very good energy um but that could be you or this person was hiding things from you as well <sighs> could have been tricked by a mother or a mother figure for sure yeah so there's there's yeah okay for breaking a heart breaking hearts or causing third party interference whether that was a person place or a thing yeah so i i do feel like someone's going to try to rekindle something here as far as you know like i said it could be a love situation it could have to do with a business partnership or um just something that somebody you were working on something with someone you guys had a contract or you were going to do something together maybe it was a friendship or something along those lines you know and um somebody else came in and and interrupted that that's what I really feel when I get like 19% battery left. Okay, I think we can make it, hopefully. Let's see as far as romance goes, what the romance angels have to say. If this was a love relationship. Okay, as far as love goes, unrequited love. Okay, so there's a message here. It's not enough. Uh, oh, okay, we're a little blurry. It's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So as far as love goes, it feels like um, maybe it's dead in the water. Extend your lighthearted energy to other people. So it looks like maybe for you, um, getting to know each other, some of you just might renege on the whole romantic thing. Um, kind of similar to maybe, could be yesterday's reading a little bit. There's, there's something here for some of you where if this was a romantic relationship where... This person was easily swayed away from the relationship um, and let everything go. I feel like some of you might just be like, nah, just you're not going to try to recoup this at all. You just flirt with other people and get to know other people. I feel like for some of you that that looks like what the message is here. Of course, you know, you do what you want to do. Uh, as always, it's completely up to you. But as far as romance goes, and, and even even with in other areas as well i feel like it is kind of kind of the same um some of you might just decide you know even if they apologize whatever i feel like okay well that, that's really not going to change anything some of you just might be already like what's done is done that kind of energy um you might not even need an apology from somebody you just be might kind of just be like well you know it is what it is what are you gonna do <laughs> It is what it is. All right, let's get a couple of Moon Pie Tarot messages here. I can't believe tomorrow's Thursday. Fear and anxiety. Yeah, this person is full of a lot of fear. Anxiety, for sure. They're going to try to put in the, some kind of effort with you. Um... There's no contact here. They might be trying. You might be no contact with them in October. They're just not wanting to talk to this person. 
if they're going to try and break no contact. Um, some of you are in hermit mode, taking a look at yourselves, balancing things out, reconciling with yourself, um, just accepting the situation as it is, not blaming yourself, just leaving it alone for sure, and standing your ground as far as the situation goes. Some of you, I feel like, like I said, I don't, I just don't feel like you really want to try to recoup the situation. They might owe you a lot of money too. Or they, I feel like they left you with a lot um, to take care of. Like they just abandoned the situation and you had to like deal with all the financials about it or, or there was just, you had to pay everything or take care of everything or, you know, they just... They did something which left you responsible for everything. Yeah, arguments, separation. Oh, this is stuff. This is some stuff, Virgo. What the? I don't know what your situation is, but, um, you know, whoever pulled them out of whatever, or they were easily swayed, um, looks like they got conned by something. Okay. Yeah, your advice is to trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. Um, as far as what to do about this, I feel like, I, like I said, even as, even as like in a romantic situation, I just don't feel like you, you, you're gonna trust your intuition more than you're gonna trust this person because I feel like some of you, your message for yourself is like, if they were so easily swayed, what tells me that they're not gonna be so easily swayed again? Like, how can you trust them again or put your trust in the relationship again? Well, you also have the courage and strength to withstand this situation. Start by, well, go with kindness, I guess. Um, don't fight with anybody here or this person. Um, don't get into any arguments with this person. Not worth it. I, they're here. Okay. Mature, dynamic, fiery male. So for, for a lot of you, this has to do with a fire sign. There's some kind of attachment to a fire sign involved in this situation whether this is directly the person or it was the other person that kind of got involved in this situation you know um it feels like for you that you have to it, i don't know that you have to but it looks like you just don't want to be bothered here if they owe you any money you may have to take some legal course of action I feel like the overall message is this person's getting what's coming to them. If, if you have to take legal action or if you're already involved in some kind of legal dispute with them, it looks like they're, 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 they're definitely kicking themselves. They're definitely realizing they got taken, they got conned, they got hustled, they got had, they gave up everything because they thought they had something better was going to work out, whether that was a fin better financial opportunity, a better relationship or whatever. They were chasing waterfalls is what I'm seeing and it came back and bit them in the ass. So it feels like at this point, it's not really your problem now, unless you had to be the one to clean up the mess. And so if you have to get um, any kind of, you know, lawyers involved or the legal system involved, then that's, if you haven't done it yet, that's obviously going to be something that you might have to think about doing. Um, but as far as like if you have that involved already, you know, um, it looks like you have to stand your ground in regards to this situation. But as far as like reneging or not reneging, but getting back involved with this person romantically doesn't look like October is going to be the time to do it. You know, um, doesn't mean you won't later. Some of you might. Some of you might not. OK, we have year of the rabbit. So this might be you. This could be your person. This could be neither of you just take what fits don't you know it doesn't mean it's not your reading okay year of the horse year of the pig year of the snake and we have a rabbit again we have the horse again okay and the pig again what the heck's going on <laughs> year of the tiger Year of the Dragon. Tiger again. Boy, you're getting a lot of doubles. If there's doubles, there's a dragon again. If there's doubles, there's strong message for the doubles. Okay, Year of the Ox. 
end year of the rooster okay like i said it's either you or your person or neither it doesn't mean it's not your message all right sorry if this is going a little bit quick i've been so crazy busy during my day i don't mean to take away from you guys let's see all right scrabble time okay so we've got a leo showing up here a lot of fire energy to begin with a lot of fire so some of you are 100 percent dealing with a fire sign or this involves a fire sign in some way shape or form we do have an october the date the month of october so that could be somebody's birth date the born in the month of october or, or this is resonating for the month of october or something occurring in October significantly here or had occurred in the month of October previously. We have September 2nd. Um, we also have September 22nd, okay, and the number 222. So if you were seeing 222, let's see if I can put that where you can see it, you guys. If you, if you are seeing 222 everywhere you go, or if you're just starting to see it, very significant for you. September 14th okay so I'm hearing the word or the name Noel Noel or Noah okay we have the letter D the letter O the letter A and the letter N so they could be initials I'm hearing Aaron also and we also have September 5th Okay, we have the letter, the initial G. Oh, there's October again. I'm telling you, something significant is happening this month in regards to this situation. Now we have 22. Okay, there's the two again. 222, 22, very significant. Something October 22nd could be significant happening here. Um, September 18th, birthday, September 16th calling you out you guys okay someone's in the air force we have the letter initial k we have m the name kim or kimberly we have mia um september 1st somebody um meg or maggie or megan okay mm. Meg, Margaret, I think I said that yesterday too. Uh, Cammy or Camera, Cameron as well. Somebody calls their grandmother Gammy or Gam Gamma or Gammy. Okay, September 10th and a Pisces, also significant. All right, let's see what your chart is. So don't forget, you guys, if the reading's too short, you can always go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. It's on here. My, it's on my channel here, and there's a, there should be a link somewhere also where you can also get a bonus. There's another reading there, a collective love reading there for you, and you can also join my OnlyFans. I have extra readings over there, spicier reading. Those are $4.99 a month if you enjoy my readings. That's so weird. Okay. Here's your charm. I was saying a moth to a flame. Significant. There's your moth. At least I think it's a moth. Not so sure. That could be a butterfly, but I feel like that's a moth, like Mothra or something. I saw a dragonfly sitting on the on one of my wires outside yesterday, just sitting there. I'm seeing dragonflies everywhere now, but this is significant. I was talking about the moth of the flame this is significant in in reference to this reading um, be wary of anybody who um, is in your life um, that is very susceptible to temptation if you know people be careful of people who don't have the um, I just I feel like I don't know if it's that sustenance or that ability to avoid if they're easily swayed or they're gullible, be careful of people like that because they just don't seem to have a backbone. You know, um, 
I heard somebody say once, um, put your wishbone where your backbone is. You know, if you want your wishes to come true, you got to have a backbone. Make them happen, you know. So there's something here about this moth. <laughs> it's very significant in this reading. And I feel like you see a moth, let that, if you see a moth anywhere, just make that a reminder. And also, not just for other people, but for yourself, um, to be diligent and discerning, to not get easily swayed um, by anyone that comes in who's very glittery, um, because all that glitters isn't gold. Just remember that. That's a little Stevie Nicks stuff going on there. So yeah, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. And it was short, but hopefully it was sweet. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. All right, you guys. Love ya. Bye. Yeah.